So far we talked about content as a key communication medium. Images are something that's just to be said, saying more than a thousand words in one communication, in one instant. The other benefit of using images is that images do not require people to understand the language or if you have language barrier, you might be able to communicate those through an image rather than just the written content. Although most of the social networks allow you to translate certain content, an image is obviously a, a not something that you need to translate if it shows a certain event or a certain activity that is taking place. So, how to take images? Obviously, if you are going to events or if you are doing certain things and demonstrating certain projects or doing some activities, try and uh, capture those moments using your mobile phone. If you have professional photographers at an event, ask them to take a picture for you and actually take a, a copy of that picture. One of the most important images that you should try and do is the image that you will use for your personal brand online as the avatar for your LinkedIn profile, for your Twitter profile and any other social networks that you have. If you have the option to, and uh, Catch Business School offers a number of support days when you can actually get your professional photographs taken, why not make the most of it and actually go to those days and get those pictures taken? If you don't have uh, the opportunity to do it, obviously try and ask your friends and consider how you might be able to creatively reuse some images that you might already have. It really is not a great photograph that you have on your LinkedIn profile that perhaps uh, shows you uh, sort of going out partying with your friends, which is great perhaps for your Facebook profile, but not necessarily for your professional side. Having said that, if your ambition is to be a party planner and you really want to show that you're a really good party type, why not actually have that picture there? So you really need to think about your audience and how they will perceive you there. So if you are definitely going for a bank job, so which requires you to think about financial analysis and to behave more in a serious way, perhaps a more com uh, conservative picture would be more appropriate. If you are, on the other hand, trying to be creative, if you want to go down the digital creative area, perhaps a more casual and much more sort of uh, uh, creative uh, photograph would also communicate the things that you stand for or the things that you're really interested in. So just taking a picture without consideration of who will be looking out for this picture, in other words, your buyer persona or your target audience, is obviously uh, not a, a simple task as well. So when you're thinking about creating pictures for your content creation, there are a number of things that you need to bear in mind. So there are some things that we mentioned about virality, and there are some great tools to create memes. A meme is essentially an image that has been used for a number of uh, funny ways or for funny captions, for co funny communications. And obviously images or memes can get more virality and more traction for, from your interaction as well. So for your content creation, consider using meme generators. If you want to have a more professional picture and don't want to necessarily pay for it, there are great resources such as uh, Pixabay and a number of others where you have the option to actually find an image based on the topic that you're interested in, as well as video content uh, actually, and reuse those to actually make your communication appear to be more professional. So it's really important to bear in mind when you're reusing somebody else's images that you have got the permission to do so. So there are a number of Creative Commons, non-attribution resources such as Pixabay, but obviously there are others in existence as well. So you cannot just simply find an image on Google and reuse it for your communication. You need to make sure that you have the copyright permission for that image to be used. So images say more than a thousand words and are really important for social media interactions that you will have. Your personal profile image is one of the key things that you need to bear in mind and how you come across in your personal branding online.